driver that comes to us out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, award the FMR Racing Toyota Powered Beast, the 76M. Here's the Macho Man, Brady Bacon. Brady Bacon, your 2016 champion of Indiana Sprint Week. Makes his way through four here in qualifying. Lap number one for Brady Bacon. Quick time and 11, three, eight, nine. Brady Bacon to the top of the board. Good lap number one. Can he go quicker lap number two? All over the gas, here it is. Quicker and 11, three, five, four. Brady Bacon, quick time. Troy Simpson, that puts him second right now. Ryan Greth on the clock for New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Liverpool Community Bank Hyper Chassis, sponsor number four car. Regular with the ARDC midgets on the East Coast. Here's lap number one, 11588. 11588, so Ryan Greth jumps to the top of the board. First car to qualify in the 11 second bracket. Looks good on lap number two. It is better in 11 479. 11479. So Ryan Greth, now quickest of our first four qualifiers. Mark Hamilton not out there, so down to just seven here in heat race number two. John Quabundi on the outside trying to get going on the cushion. Terry Goodwin pulls on the lead off a of turn two. Klossmeyer makes it three wide, made it stick. Chad Boat pounded the cushion and shoved the nose off the racetrack and falls back out of the top five. Klossmeyer and based and moved to first and second at the end of lap number one. Terry Goodwin, your pole sitter, still holding on to third. Matt Johnson will take that spot momentarily off the bottom of turn four, and he does so successfully as Quabundi jumps over the cushion on the front stretch and loses a few spots. 
Chad Boat back into the top five. Terry Goodwin holding on to fourth. He's right in front of him. That's the final transfer spot battle off of four, and Boat will dispose of him easily. John Clabundy exits the track in turn number one. Heads back to the pit area. Baston with his radar locked on Tucker Klossmeyer in the race for the lead. Now problems for Matt Johnson, who is running inside the top four in the 85 car. Trying to get it corralled back under control here. He's off the racetrack in turn number two. Seems to be under power, though, as he works down the backstretch. The years go by him, so Johnson can head back to the pit area. Basin closing ever so slightly here on Klossmeyer. The race up front, Chad Boat third. Terry Goodwin has fourth with Johnny Murdoch behind him in fifth. The last five cars on the racetrack. Here's Basin inside of Klossmeyer down into turn number one. Top side still just a little too strong. And Klossmeyer moving to the bottom there to take Baston's line away through three and four. That was the move to make Klossmeyer putting some distance between himself and Baston. Terry Goodwin running fourth, dips off the back straightaway. Johnny Murdoch not out of it. He's closing in on him here all before. Klossmeyer going to see the checker. Baston will hang on to second. Chad Boat came on strong there late. And the four. And Murdoch did a half spin there. Thought he was going to maybe get to him. Terry Goodwin going to hold on to the final transfer. Robinson, Ryan Greth, and Derek Crawl. So no Casey Schumann. Seven cars here in heat race number three. Get the green flag off of turn four. Chet Gerke looked to the inside momentarily. Backed out of that one, Wheeland and Lynch, the front row still side by side at the end of the back straightaway. Ryan Greth on the cushion, draws to the right rear of Gerke for third. Wheeland leads lap one, Darlin in the mix, throw a blanket over one through six, through one and two. Gerke feeds Greth the wheel off the second corner, trying to hold on to third with Darlin on his inside as they race for third down the front stretch. Gerke now challenging Brayton Lynch for second, got a good run off of two and clipped his left rear. Got out of shape down the back straightaway. Lynch has those inside guys bottled up here. Gerke trying to hold on to third. Greth looking outside with Darwin and Robinson behind him with nowhere to go. Greth trying the outside as Gerke sneaks inside of Brayton Lynch off of turn number four and edges in front of him for second at the line. Lynch not giving up though on the outside. Dustin Whelan still holding strong up front. Lynch off the track in turn number three running second. Still under power, he may coast to a stop here off of turn number four. And there's the yellow. Wow, good stuff there. Top six, all right together. Okay. Dave Darlin wasting no time, trying to give himself some buffer. He runs in that final transfer spot right now. Greth able to get the power down on the cushion through one and two and drive away from him in that third spot. He's not done yet. What's well, second from Gerke, but Darlin fighting back as well on the bottom lane, running fourth. Gerke had his nose chopped off there by Whelan, looking for the lead at the end of the back straightaway now. They funnel down into turn number three. Greth around the outside. He'll lead that time by the start finish line. Shows Gerke the top side, and Chet's moved up there now, running in that fourth spot as Darlin has third for the moment. Ryan Robinson trying to make the bottom side work. He's one spot out looking in. Gerke now back to the bottom as Darlin begins to work around Dustin Whelan, who's running second. Dave darts to the bottom. Gerke gonna get caught out here with no place to go. White flag waving for Greth, who's pulled away from second, third, fourth, and fifth. Greth on the outside, or I should say Robinson. That battle for fourth. Greth going to grab the win. Darling going to get second. Wheel and third. Gerke fourth at the line. Get that cone in turn number four. And that one will fly. Green flag in heat number four. Holly Shelton on the bottom. Started fifth. Made contact there with Lance Bennett off of turn number two. She'll squeak into second on the bottom here, off of turn four, wants the lead, give it to her. Holly Shelton from fifth to the race lead at the conclusion of lap number one. Tyler Thomas from back in the pack as well. Row number three is now first and second as they scatter back in the pack. 
Keith Roush holds on to third with Ryan Order in the fourth and final transfer spot. Jeff Crook is in the infield. Tyler Thomas has moved around Holly Shelton into the race lead. So he wasted no time there, going from sixth to the top spot. Shelton back to second. Keith Roush is third. And Ryan Order fourth. Bob Haar is fifth. One spot out looking in. And then it's a ways back to Lance Bennett, who's running in the sixth spot. Tyler Thomas with the front tires up in the air. Has that 91T car hooked up. And got it a little over-rotated that last time through three and four. Ryan Order and Bob Haar in a great battle for fourth, a ways back of the race leaders, and they just now exit turn four. still hasn't been able to find a way around. And here's one to go for Tyler Thomas. No pressure, Holly Shelton running second. Thomas gonna put the lap car, Tyler Dunkel, a lap down and cruise to a heat race number four victory over Holly Shelton, Keith Roush, and Bob Haar, who finally made his way around Ryan Order. Top four from that one, finishing fourth, the two car of Bob Haar. Same top three, it's Bacon, Robinson, and Lynch who tries to get up in front of Klebundy and does that time into that third spot. Lance Bennett, Troy Simpson, and Jeff Stassa all banging wheels there. Stassa has the final transfer and another problem between a Murdoch car and his teammate in turn one and two. That time it's Johnny Murdoch who stopped over in turn number one and two. Here we go. Side running fourth. Challenging Brayton Lynch down the back. Straight away. Oh boy. Lynch cut him a break there and failed to the high side. At least to get out of his way. Lance Bennett moves to third. Klebundy trying to stick his nose in there as well. Just Jeff Stassa on the move up to the sixth spot around Troy Simpson, who drove into his left rear and spun out in turn three. go. Lance Bennett trying to fend off Brayton Lynch. He went to the bottom there through one and two. That's the race for third. Lynch got a little bit tight. Got the car over rotated. Bennett sneaks to the outside. Has his left front on that right rear of the 1K through one and off of two. Lynch squeezes him a little bit to arc into the corner and holds on to third. Jeff Stassa comfortable in that sixth and final transfer spot as Bacon begins to pull away as the race leader. Lap traffic ahead, Ashley Order. It'll be the first car to go a lap down. Bacon disposes of her easily. Robinson will do the same running second. Ryan Order on the gas trying to race his way into the field. One spot out looking in in seventh. contact here back in the pack between a few of the lap cars. And Bacon in no hurry to do something silly here and throw this away.
Ryan Order running seventh, spins into the infield on the front stretch. Ryan Orders had that thing sideways off a of turn four, way sideways, lap after lap there, and it finally just looped around on him. Oh, Ryan Order just tossed a airbox cover, I think, off the 43 car here on the front straightaway. We should be able to stay green. And here's one to go for Brady Bacon. Ryan Robinson, Brayton Lynch, Lance Bennett, John Klebundy, who might be blowing up, running fourth. And Jeff Stassa, who goes around his outside now as Bacon grabs the win over Robinson, Lynch, Bennett, Stassa, and Klebundy. Brady Bacon, your B-Main winner in the 76M. He, along with Ryan Robinson, Brayton Lynch, Lance Bennett, Jeff Stassa, and John Klobundy. Thirty-five laps. And it's going to be wild. Some guys buried deep in the pack with some work to do. Holly Shelton, Spencer Baston, Keith Coon's teammates on the front row. Inaugural race here at the Jefferson County Speedway for the USAC. National Midgets is green. Spencer Baston on the outside, drag racing with Holly Shelton down into turn number three, side by side, three, four, five rows deep. Shelton leads lap one by a nose over Keith Coon's teammate Baston. Tyler Thomas got to the bottom after starting fourth. He's running third now with Tanner Thorson on his outside. Ryan Brett and Chad Boat doubled up behind him. Top six, still side by side. Shelton good around the bottom here in the early going. Basing a little over rotated and Thorson collected in it. Basing got a little sideways on the cushion and it bottled him up just enough that Thorson had nowhere to go and Ran into the rear bumper of the 97 and got the worst into that deal and spun to a stop and turn. Two laps in, 33 to go. Holly Shelton, Spencer Baston, Tyler Thomas, Ryan Greth, Chad Boat. Top five, back to green. Baston again trying the top side. Tyler Thomas committed to the bottom, running in that third position. Ryan Greth behind him in fourth. Thomas edges in front of Baston momentarily for second down the front straightaway. Brett peeked his nose to the inside of Thomas for third and had to back out of that. Baston moved off the top through three and four. Holly slid a little wide and was kind of hugging the slick off the four and it cost him the lead. Tyler Thomas took it and Baston roared around the outside of both of them and went from third to first. Shelton missed the bottom through four that last time. Foster two spots as Thomas has now moved up top through one and two and moved to second. Chad Boat trying to duplicate that, running in fifth. But he's working the outside as Ryan Grepp and Holly Shelton still work the bottom, running third and fourth. Boat getting rolling on the cushion off the turn two, draws in front of Holly Shelton down the back straightaway and into third. Lap traffic ahead for the race leader Spencer Baston. That's the 2G of Terry Goodwin. He's going to have to hit the bottom here, kind of drifted up into the side nearly of Goodwin and had to roll out of the throttle, allow Thomas to close the gap slightly. Boat has moved off the top and into third. Here's Boat again. He's moved back to the top. Through three and four now through the middle through one and two. He is good in that 84 car. Draws to the side of Tyler Thomas and forces his way into the second spot. Getting 
through the last traffic a little bit better than race leader Spencer Mason. Mason goes to the bottom, both will follow him. Thomas has to stay up top for another set of corners here. As he moves around the last car, Dustin Wheeling. Here's 20 to go, this time by the race leader based it. More lap traffic ahead. 77 of John Clubundy next in line. Oh, and Clubundy missed the bottom on entry. Nearly three wide for the lead off the of turn number four as Boat stuck his nose in, in the middle and Thomas was on the bottom. Baston knows they're back there. Here's Boat again to the inside. Baston holds his ground, but he moves Spencer off the bottom, and Chad Boat goes to the race lead with 18 to go. Two aggressive laps and two sets of corners there for Boat have given him the race lead. Baston now on offense and defense at the same try time, trying to fend off Tyler Thomas. Brady Bacon in that mix as well, running fourth. T.T. again inside a base in the race for a second. Spencer will fit him off. Chad Boat working his way through lap traffic. Lance Bennett. The next target. Boy, it is dicey with this lap traffic. Some of them are dark off the racetrack. The closing rate is so quick. Thankfully for Boat, he's got a few of them lined up on the bottom here. And he may be able to rip the top and give himself some breathing room. He picked the left rear up, though, bicycle. Keaton Roush trying to get around the left car of Steve Goodwin there. Boy, it is getting close. Not much room for error and no room to get out of the way. Tyler Thomas has moved around Basin, and he's trying to find a way through these next two lap cars and move his way a little bit closer to Chad Boat. Brian Crossan on the move as well from 13th to 4th. Oh, Tyler Thomas banging wheels back in the back with Terry Goodwin. The lap car. Able to get through and based and now clear. Lawson trying to make his way through. He collects Terry Goodwin and a yellow. Wow. Holy smokes, catch your breath. All righty, here we go. 11 laps to decide who's going to pick up the feature win. Chad Boat, Tyler Thomas, both of them chasing their first career USAC midget win. Then third place running Spencer Basin, fourth in line with Brian Kloss in the lap car. Keith Roush in the middle. We go back to green. Roush goes to the top side as Basin directed him under yellow. Spencer with the bottom to himself. Edges in front of Roush, and now he's got nothing but racetrack separating himself from the top two, Chad Boat and Tyler Thomas. Boat goes to the high side into one. Thomas around the bottom, trying to squeeze him. Drag race into three for the race lead. Boat slams the door. Nine to go. Lawson from 13th on the cushion, trying to find his way onto the bottom step on the podium. Brady Bacon in that mix as well. Boat beginning to pull away. Lawson all over the rear bumper of base then for third. As they race about five car lanes back of the top two. Now based and missed the bottom on entry. Clawson got a little tight. Oh, flip down the front stretch. Ryan Graff. Ryan Graff upside down here on the front straightaway. We can see him moving around in the cockpit. Twenty-nine laps down, six to go as we get Greth's car righted. Race leaders: Chad Boat, Tyler Thomas, Spencer Baston, Brian Clawson, Brady Bacon. Top five, back to green. 
boat was better on the last restart. Pulled away from Thomas. TT able to hang with them. First trying down the back straightaway. Clawson looking outside here, wasting no time trying to get into third. Battling with Spencer Baston, who's on the bottom in the 97. Baston got tight. That's the break Clawson needed. He goes to third. Brady Bacon trying to come with him as well on the bottom. Forces Baston into the slit, gets it rotated, and moves to fourth. So Brady Bacon shuffles Spencer Baston back a spot. Here's four to go for race leader Chad Boat. Thomas not close enough right now to strike, nor is Clawson. Flicking them off early. Three to go. Clawson bobbled Bacon to third. Top two separating themselves from this third place battle. Two to go for Chad Boat. Clawson now on the bottom. Bacon hung in the slick on the straightaway. BC moves back to third. Bacon tries to draw back to the left rear, forces his way inside of him. Clawson going to have to give him some room, but they bang wheels as a white flag waves to the race leader. Bacon on the inside, Clawson up top the race for third, give it to Bacon for the moment, but three and four, finally, Chad Boat gets a USAC National Midget win. Tyler Thomas second and after the line, give third to, I believe, Brian Clawson. Here with Chad Boat, winner tonight at the Jefferson County Speedway. Been a long time coming for you, but finally got your first career USAC national win. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. You know, definitely couldn't do it without uh, all our supporters, Keen, uh, Keen Parts, Pristine Auction, CorvetteParts.net, uh, KNC Drywall, Billy Boat Exhaust, Spike, Toyota, Speedway Motors. Um, you know, everyone that supported this effort, Corey Tucker, um, you know, coming on board with me to, to, to run the whole deal this year. So it was, uh, it's definitely been a long time coming. I felt like we've had some really good cars and we've let them slip away. And tonight, you know, I knew once I got out front, I couldn't lose it. Our car was just too good. Um, the boys had it tuned up and uh, looking to do it a couple more times this week. Starting the week off strong, Chad Boat, your winner tonight.